Hello and welcome back again. This is your host Harshit Sinha with another interesting topic. Owing to my previous presentation, whatever you have learned about BRSR in details. However, the BRSR code contains a cross reference to the disclosure contained in the BRSR report. SEBI circular number 562 dated on May 10, 2021 had prescribed the business responsibility and sustainability report which was subsequently incorporated in SEBI circular number 120 dated July 12, 2023. One should also note that the provisions of the SEBI's listing obligation and disclosure requirement LODR regulation 2015 in this regard have been amended with sebi's gazette notification number 131 dated june 14 2023 thus one can say that the current presentation on the brsr core is a subset of the brsr consisting of a set of key performance indicator matrices under nine erg attributes keeping in view reverence to the indian emerging market context few new kpis have been identified for assurance such as job creation in small town openness of the business gross wages paid to the women etc whether for the better global comparability intensity ratio based on the revenue adjusted for purchasing power parity have been included the security exchange board of india sebi introduced the brsr core framework for assurance and esg disclosure related to value change here are the key point first is brsr core it is a subset of business responsibility and sub- uh, sustainability report large listed companies must report on the key performance indicators kpi across nine ESG attributes and we are going to discuss this in detail second is value change disclosure companies need to disclose relevant KPIs for BRSR core for their value change including upstreaming and downstreaming partners then third is assurance assurance requirements apply to both BRSR core and value change disclosure this framework and hence the ESG reporting and aligns with the indian commitment to sustainable finance sebi aims to promote sus- responsible business conduct and transparency in security market now let us explore brsr core framework in detail for the subset across the nine esg attributes applicable of brsr core reasonably assurance of brsr core for the top 250 listed entities by financial year 2024-25 reasonably assurance of brsr core for the top 500 listed entities c is financial year 2526 that is basically in the financial year of 2025 to 26 reasonably assurance of brsr core for top 1000 listed companies This slide shows about the greenhouse gas footprints. The first point related to environment in ESG is greenhouse gas emission having cross references to the BRSR relates principle 6 question number 7 of essential indicators where greenhouse gas emission is calculated for the scope 1 and scope 2 as mentioned in the slide. Here the only difference is found is the data assurance approach as mentioned in the slide between the scope 1 and scope 2 this slide shows greenhouse gas uh, emission intensity by adding scope 1 and scope 2 later the result of scope 1 and scope 2 are combined to get the net effect of greenhouse gas emission through company's process out here the measurement are done in two ways total scope 1 and scope 2 emission that metric turn total revenue from the operations adjusted for purchasing power parity the second is total scope 1 and scope 2 emission in metric turn by total output of the producer service at the same way relates the data are collected with the assurance This 
slide show the core indicator of water footprint. Here three sub processes are given weightage to calculate water footprint. First is having cross reference to B R S R rates principle number six, question three of the association indicator where the total water consumption is calculated from the difference of the calibrated reading of input water flow minus calibrated reading out of output water flow. While the water consumption intensity is measured in rupees adjusted for purchasing power priority and the product or services in million liter or kilo liter. Waters discharged by destination and levels of treatment at primary, secondary and tertiary. It also asks to maintain the record for doing no treatment of water. This slide shows core indicator of environment related to energy footprint. Here the energy footprint having cross references to the BRSR relates principle 6 and of question 1 of essential indicators largely focused on the total energy consumed and to know the energy intensity by rupee adjusted for the purchasing power priority and for the product or the services that is measured in joules oblique multiplies. The data and assurance to be followed at as highlighted in the slide. Uh, this is one of the most important environmental core indicator related to waste management. Here the energy footprint having cross references to the BRSR relates principle 6 of question 9 for essential indicators largely focus on the different type of waste in kg or million ton with source of data and assurance approach largely based on the waste management rule of 2016 thereby calculating the total waste generated. Subsequently, the waste management rule of 2016 keep on updating so as today we can use the same information from waste management rule of 2022. Continuing from the previous slide, the waste intensity is calculated by rupee adjusted for purchasing power priority and for product or services in kg or metric ton. The other type of information collected is related to each category of the waste generated, total waste recovered through recycling, reusing or other recovery operation only with the certified vendors and seeks detailed for each category of waste generated total waste disposed by the nature of disposal method with the source of data and assurance approach as mentioned in the slide. Major limitation in the formation collected here is based on the waste management rule 2016 and now it is should be upgraded to the waste management rule of 2022 or subsequent one for forthcoming changes. This slide shows the core indicator related to the social aspect. Here the social factor for enhancing employee well-being and safety have cross reference to the BRSR relates principle 3 with question number 1C of essential indicators largely focused spending on the measures towards well-being of the employee and the worker cost incurred as a proportion of total revenue of the company. Further, it also takes into consideration details of the safety related incidents for employees and workers for lost time injury frequency rate per 1 million person hour work, having cross reference to the BRSR relates principle question 3, question 11 of essential indicators. However, we see a major limitation here that this social well-being is been taken for the uh, workers in the factory while the social responsibility in the community are totally missed out and sooner or later will be included in the core indicator of PRSR. Now 
now here we are describing a core indicator related to governance in efg here the governance factors for enabling inclusive development having cross reference to the brsr relate principle 8 of question 4 of essential indicator largely focused input material source from the following source as percentage of the total purchases directly sourced from the msme oblique small producer and from within the india further it also takes into consideration the job creation in a smaller town wage is paid to the person employed in the smaller town that is either permanent or non permanent or on contractual basis Uh, the employees working in the uh, entity as a percentage of the total wages cost having cross references to the brsr relates principle 8 of question 5 of essential indicators another governance factor covered here is related to the fairness in engaging with the customers and suppliers having cross references to the brsr relates principle 9 question 7 of essential indicator largely focused intense involving loss public breach of data of customers as a percentage of total data breach or cyber security events and also for number of days of accounts payable having cross references to brsr relates principle number 1 question 8 of essential indicators continuing from my previous slide the third attributes of guiding governance is now explained in this slide it covers uh, is related to the openness of business having cross references to the brsr relates principle 1 question 9 of essential indicators largely focus concentration of purchase and sales done with the trading house dealers and related parties loans and advance and investment with the related parties are measured in proportion as mentioned in the slide the major limitation to the guiding governance is a missing the performance to be measured for an organization and as an individual leadership especially for ceos or the head of the entity for some of the vital leadership indicators <laughs> well we have uh, completed all nine core formats indicator now this is an additional slide which is not related to the core but it is essential to relate with the core indicator though this slide does not be the part of brsr core indicator but i thought to include as per our business responsible reporting is now at a international standard by linking with the gri standards earlier the brsr reporting format was only seen as a significant increase in the maturity of the corporate reporting framework that have evolved over time and have been embraced internationally by leading businesses to promote measure and monitor the sustainability performance especially in their supply value chain this document was introduced in 2017 and later revised in 2022 This is a very lengthy document but it has three peculiar comparison on the new variable added as per the GRI guidelines other is related to those variable which are common to both that is it is in BR R framework and GRI standards and the last one is that the BR R framework do have but GRI guideline does not have well the link are provided in the reference below so that you can go through in detail now we have come and to the to this presentation and i want to summarize whatever i have presented the collection of information through the business reporting report that is brr or the business responsibility and sustainability report that is brsr framework serve as a crucial purpose these framework are designed to promote environmental social and governance sustainable reporting practice among the companies 
The data gathered through these reports play a vital role in the ESG rating process. Rating agency use this information to evaluate companies' ESG performance and assign score. These scores are then displayed on the stock exchange like National Stock Exchange or incorporated into National Stock Exchange indices. The purpose of making these ESG rating visible is to attract investors who are interestingly interested in sustainable and responsible investing by providing standardized comprehensive ESG information. These framework enable investor to make more informed decision based on a company sustainable practice and performance. So stay tuned for the next week's discussion on SEBI's ERP ESG rating provider. This topic will dwell deeper into how SEBI is working to create a robust ecosystem for ESG reporting and investing in India.